Erica. Welcome to our channel here on YouTube. And today, we are going to be testing out makeup from Daiso. And if you like videos like this one where we test products together and I give you my honest opinion about it, then don't forget by letting me know by subscribing and also tapping the bell button. And also don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see next because I would definitely love to take on your recommendations and suggestions. So if you want to see how I do my makeup with these products and what I feel about it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I chanced upon this on my second visit to Daiso. It's a mesh of pink and white. When I press it, it's very firm, sturdy, and not so soft as you would like your blenders to be. So I don't know how I feel about this. And I'm gonna be using my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is the Prime Correct in Set. Well, set this. Soaked already. It's a lot of product in here. It's still very firm, very hard. Considering the fact that and dami ko nang nalagay na setting spray. So, matigas pa rin siya. This is the BB Cream, the shade Natural Beige. The Natural Beige was the color that kind of resembled mine. Medyo on the morena side siya. But I wouldn't know exactly how this would look until, of course, we open it. First, let's do some swatching. So, this is how it looks like on top of my hand. If I blend it out, it feels like water-based. Does it suit my color? I don't know. It's paler as expected because this is Japanese product. and So, I'm gonna put some on my, beauty, my sponge. I placed a lot. Oh my goodness. So, I don't like this beauty blender, this sponge blender, because um, it just feels too hard for the face. It just absorbs the product. I don't recommend this. I'm not even gonna push through with this anymore because I'm just gonna be wasting time. This is way too white for me. Next product is a skin touch foundation. If you open it, mara siya mga onting onting glitter. This silk touch foundation and this color kind of blends through my skin. But I don't like the fact that it has glitters because definitely not on places where there's dryness or or texture like whiteheads because it's it just highlights it. I don't like it. In terms of packaging, let's talk about the packaging. Okay. I like that it comes in an acrylic cover. I feel like it's very thick. If you're just gonna be dabbing certain areas on your face to keep oil but it's not something that I would recommend that you rely on 24-7 as a as your main powder. I hope I made sense. Packaging wise, it's full pack. I feel na hindi naman siya puro hangin. Feel the product inside. Do I recommend this? No, not at all because it doesn't do much for coverage. I don't like this and I'm okay with this. And now let's proceed to the eye makeup. We have here Trio and my sponge just at the Sealed so you know it's new. Again, packaging. We have an acrylic cover and it's hard to open. Applicator on both ends, which I don't recommend you use. And this should complete your eyeshadow look because you have three. So I'm gonna use my own brush. I'm gonna use the middle one first, this one, for my inner lid. I like the color of this one. On my skin, it looks like lilac. On the packaging, it looks like it's more brown or tan. So I'm just putting it all over my inner lid. I am gonna be using the darkest color, this one, to intensify the outer side of my eyes. This is grayish. I can't seem to differentiate the color from the other color. Like when I place it on top of each other, it's just you don't get that much color payoff. But of course, you make do with what you have. Everything is workable if you want it to. Okay, 
And the lightest one I'm gonna use to blend everything. Hala, wala, what? I'm gonna try the same thing on the other side. See if something drastic or dramatic happens. the darkest color on the lower lid of my eye. And I'm just gonna start blending everything because everything looks like a mess right now. I look like a mumu. You know when I bought this makeup, I had high hopes. Like, the way I see it. Is that you get what you pay for. It looks very metallic in person, very glittery in person, even it really looks like cheap makeup on me. Maybe we can proceed to lipstick, the color of coral orange will redeem this makeup look. I got it. You have here the lipstick. It looks really classy. Hala! Sira na siya. Grabe! Wala pa nga nalalagay sa lips ko and it's already broken. Grabe. I feel like I wasted money. Alright, so I'm just gonna try it. It's like, it feels like a lip balm. And in person, in the camera, it looks okay. In person, it's very patchy. Like, let me show you what I mean by that. It's... Finalize this look. Let's try on some. <laughs> Spent money on this, like 88 times how many? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe eight times six. So, packaging, acrylic, lid. You have the product. It comes with its own brush, which, of course, you will never use in this lifetime because who puts blush on with this barbecue brush? This is us testing out the Dyson makeup. I'm not very happy about it because it's such a waste of 528 pesos and it's still hard earned money, right? So if you like videos like these where we test out products together and I show and tell you how I feel and think about it, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also tap the bell button so that you'll also get notified once I upload a video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to channel your positivity. And regardless, I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye!